three diverse Russian works form this CSO program, led by Michael Tilson Thomas. Nine days after the premiere of his sixth symphony, Tchaikovsky died unexpectedly. He was just 53. The score reflects the composer's lifelong obsession with dark emotions. That's evident from the ominous first movement, with its brief but conspicuous quotation of the Russian Orthodox Requiem. The second movement is a limping waltz in 5-4 time, while the third is a rousing march. The slow and despairing conclusion is as tragic as anything in the standard repertoire. Prokofiev composed his second violin concerto during a self-described nomadic phase as he traveled between Voronezh, Russia, Baku, Azerbaijan, Paris, and Madrid. Dedicated to the French violinist Robert Sutons, the concerto has a certain international flavor. It starts off with a violin melody based on a Russian folk tune. The second movement is nostalgic and song-like, while the third has a Spanish tinge. Nicola Benedetti is the soloist. Stravinsky's Concerto in D, known as the Basel Concerto, was commissioned in 1946 for the Basel Chamber Orchestra. The composer had moved to Hollywood and was soaking up American pop culture. He dabbled in film scores, wrote music for a Broadway review, and completed the Ebony Concerto for clarinetist Woody Herman. But the Basel Concerto looks back to the spiky yet graceful sound world of Stravinsky's neoclassical style. It's been choreographed several times, including by Jerome Robbins, who in 1951 turned it into an edgy ballet called The Cage. 